Alrighty guys, so today what I'm gonna show you is a quick little video on how to test an ice maker. Here we have a Whirlpool refrigerator. Um, this particular ice maker is working. How do I know? Because it's mine. And as you can see, there is a bunch of ice in there. But if you have an issue to where this ice maker is not producing ice, I'm gonna give you a couple of quick tips on what to do to check it. A lot of calls that I go to, um, not a lot, but sometimes I've, well, I've gone to calls where the ice maker is not working and I go to check the ice maker and come to find out it's in the off position. Right here, this little handle right here senses the level of the ice and once it gets to a certain level of ice, it'll shut itself off as to not to overfill your freezer with ice. Um, right now I have it in the off position, so we'll go ahead and put it in the off on position. So when you have your bucket right here and as it fills, it'll lift this lever and once it gets to a certain height, it'll tell the ice maker, hey, look, um, stop making ice. We don't want to flood out this, uh, this freezer. So that's the first thing to check is your lever. The next thing we're going to check, take off this cover here. And right here is your ice maker module. Now, as you can see, there's several holes here. Here's your voltage, or this is for your valve, your line, and this is for the ice maker harvest. So if you come check the ice maker, it's in the on position and not producing ice. Um, reach in here, do you feel ice that's in there? If yes, let's go ahead and try to get this ice maker to harvest that ice that's in there. Um, right here, there's two holes. You'll see it's a T and an H. What you're going to do is grab yourself a jumper wire. Make sure it's insulated so as to not shock yourself. Um, on a, you know, some people what they'll do is they'll unplug the refrigerator. They'll put this in there and plug it back in, which will get the ice maker started. But what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put it in there uh, with it plugged in because I have an insulated wire and I have been doing this uh, quite a while. So I'm going to go ahead and stick this in there. T and H. And let's see what happens. As you can see right now, the module is starting to turn, which tells me that this ice maker is good. So once, I don't know if you heard that or not, but there was a click, which gives me uh, an opportunity to, to remove that wire. And we're gonna watch it produce some ice. Right now, the fingers on this ice maker are moving. Uh, there's a heater below here that actually heats up this uh, heats the ice up that's in the module or in the uh, uh, in the ice maker heats it up that way these teeth can scoop that ice out so that's what it's doing right now another thing guys on some ice makers when you put your jumper wire in here uh, you're gonna want to push the door switch in. Usually there's a door switch. On this particular uh, refrigerator, there isn't a door switch for the freezer. There is for the fridge because there's a light inside, which is right there. But on some of the side-by-sides, um, there's a switch. When, when the door closes, it pushes that switch in. You might have to push that switch in in order for the ice maker to start rotating. Um, just a quick uh, tip on that one um, when you just put the jumper in there and you don't see it turning Just push that switch in see if it helps if it doesn't if this doesn't move with that jumper uh, wire in there There's something wrong with your ice maker and you're gonna want to replace it right now I'm still waiting on the um, Harvest to uh, waiting for the teeth to push out the ice and then I'll show you guys How to check the water valve from your ice maker? guys let me let you know a little secret you see that chuck eye steak if you're a fan of ribeyes this is the poor man ribeye right here but they're freaking delicious love those things Almost there. Almost there. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. There we go. First. Oh yeah. There we go. We got ice. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. 
don't know if you guys noticed how this uh, arm goes up as it's dropping the ice. What that does, that way the ice can fall in, and then when it falls, if it's full, it'll fall on top of the ice. <clears throat> so, and if you hear that, that's the water coming into the ice maker right there. It's so like I said, this ice maker is good, the valve's good, it's producing ice. Um, so that's how you check the ice maker between T and H to get this uh, module turning to make sure the ice maker is good. Now, let's say the ice maker is working good, but there's no water in there inside the ice maker. Or it just went through the cycle and no water came in. What do you do? You can't pull the ice maker out, get back there and test the, um, test the valve. There's a couple ways to do that, but I'm going to show you a quick tip on this particular one on how to test the valve right here so if you see right there you got a v and if i can get uh, an l these two holes so those two right here the t and h to test the ice maker itself and now if you're not getting any water inside the ice maker we're going to show you how to test the valve test the valve out <coughs> so grab your wire Again, if you're not, you know, if uh, you're not too sure on what you're doing or if you're uh, a little bit worried, go ahead and unplug it. Um, be ready, though. If you're going to test this, in a way, I do recommend it testing it with power, uh, with, the, with it plugged in. Because if you put this in there, you plug it in uh, and the valve is good, what's going to happen? The water is going to start coming into the ice maker and you're going to come and check it and you're going to go back and try to unplug it. You're going to have to be really quick. So on this particular one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just leave it uh, plugged in, and I'm gonna go ahead and stick one, try to do this with one hand. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and stick one into the V, and I'm gonna stick the other in into the N, and if you listen closely, which I know this ice maker is good, but if you have a good ice maker, what you're gonna hear is this. And water is filling my ice maker. So we know the ice maker is good. I mean, I'm sorry. We know the valve is good. So that's how you're going to test your valve out. That's how you test the ice maker out. Um, so if you put it in T and H and that module doesn't start turning, we know the ice maker is bad. If the module does work and we're not getting water, I just showed you how to test the valve from the ice maker. Uh, another thing, if you go out to a call and this ice maker, uh, the customer saying it's just making noise, not producing ice, and this module is just turning and turning and turning, that's going to be a bad ice maker. Um, another thing, check, make sure the arm is up. I mean, in the on position. Uh, what else? What else? <clears throat> there is a sensor on here. If the ice, if inside the freezer, it doesn't get to a certain temperature, which I believe on this one is like a zero to zero to 10 degrees if it's not below that range this ice maker is not going to produce ice because there is a sensor on it on it right let's see if i can see we see that black wire um that connection right there that is actually a sensor if that one doesn't um sense a certain temperature it's not going to produce ice as a safety to not flood your freezer out because let's say this freezer starts getting warm and that ice maker keeps going, it's not gonna freeze the water and you're just gonna have water overfilling inside here. So another thing to check, make sure the freezer's working properly. Usually with a no cool on a refrigerator, the first thing to go out is the ice maker. And uh, so check that out. Uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, and I hope this helps. Got an ice maker that's not working, I hope this helps you out.